Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. Uh, last video for the week, we'll take a bit of a break, so we'll be back next week, uh, Tuesday. So um, pay attention to your structures. Anyway, uh, yesterday, big down, big up, big down. Uh, we do have a lot of chaos in the banking sector at the moment. And uh, at the same time, uh, what that has done for us is to reduce the chances of a rate hike. So you're seeing it in the in the currency market at the moment. You need to pay attention to Euro USD, and you'll see that uh, dollar weakness is starting to settle in, and uh, dollar weakness means strength for the ind for the indices. So this all this chaos is really around the the banks at the moment. Nothing really else to it. So what we should be waiting for is uh, wait for the dust to settle, and then we can basically get going. So sorry, I was on the four hour, but the levels are exactly the same. So this is the level of support that we're finding, which is 31804. Look at my oscillators, they group to the downside. Pin bar off that structure. So you're looking for a break above that pin bar if you are looking on the eight hours. So there it is there. And at the moment, nothing really materializing. So uh, nothing changes there on the three hour drop down to the one hour. And you can see the chaos continues. So pretty much range bound. We do have a bit of a trend line in the range. So what we should be waiting for is a break of the trend line. Um, what does that equate to? That equates to this area here of 32.274. So I'm very reluctant to be jumping in uh, long at the bottom here. Uh, that would be against the trend. It does look tempting. But in my experience, often what happens is it squirts down, takes our stops, and then moves when you get the structure. So I much prefer waiting for a better setup. So for me, uh, this little swing high of yesterday is the key. It's going to line up correctly. So that's 32.244. Get above that. We should target uh, 32.500. And then obviously we need to get above 32.500. And then your last line of resistance is going to be 32.725. Well, that's kind of the view I've got there. If you drop down to 15 minutes and uh, you look at yesterday, absolutely nothing yesterday uh, that was on the card. So right now you can see still downward trend on the 15 minutes as well. And uh, this swing high here would start changing that. And that is, let's get that level for you. That's 32.140. So until that happens, I'm a little bit reluctant to be jumping in long. And, uh, you know, the tempting setup here is for the shorts. I just I just don't see that happening at the moment. Um, I suppose everything depends on what what happens with uh, the banks today. Uh, it does look like the feds have uh, stepped in to assist there. But, um, you know, I can't see them actually allowing the banks to fail either. That's the other thing you've got to keep in the back of your mind because that would uh, get the whole financial structure to implode. So, let's wait and see what happens. But, uh, you know, there is a setup here for a short, it's a weak setup. I'm not really keen on it. Uh, even if we do drip, dip below this uh, 31,800, uh, I'm going to have to see a lot more than that. I think the feds are going to step in very quickly to stop this. So, with all of that in your head, I suppose that's kind of my continued confused outlook at the moment. And the uh, last two days has been big up and big down, so that's always symbolic of a reversal that is brewing. But what we're looking for is a higher high than a higher low, and that will give us a rounding bottom that we need. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's kind of my view this morning. It's a, a pure sit and wait. I'm not interested in getting my, my money tied up in this chaos. So uh, we will wait, see what transpires. But obviously, I'm going to be away from the charts for quite some time. So probably no trading. But anyway, that's kind of my view for for today. hope it helps. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you next week. Um, stay safe. Keep our stops tight. Cheers for now.